For day one science experiments, the kids are going to be making a plant-powered battery. They start off their lesson talking about the Garden of Eden, so they're going to be using some of those fruits and vegetables that God made in the garden. You're going to give each group two pieces of fruit. You can use lemons, grapefruits, potatoes, anything that's got some acidity in it. You're going to need galvanized nails, pennies, leads with alligator clips, and LEDs. To start, you're going to make a slice in each fruit. Most likely the adult's going to need to be the one with the knife. You're going to take your penny and stick it in the slice. If you Google, sometimes it tells you the penny needs to be before 1982, but I found that did not make much of a difference. Then you're going to take your zinc galvanized nail, which is a regular everyday nail that you use for woodworking. You can find them in even Walmart for an inexpensive box. You're going to put the nail in the opposite side of the penny. You're going to take your test leads, which can be found at stores like Harbor Freight, or you can get a really good size pack on Amazon fairly inexpensively. You're going to hook up one end to a nail. Take a second lead, hook it to the penny, and then to connect to the other fruit, it needs to be opposite. So a penny needs to be connected to a nail. Take your third lead and hook to the other penny. Then you're going to connect the two and hook to an LED light. Now it should make the light light up, but I had a lot of difficulty with this experiment, so you definitely need to test it out with your supplies before you have the children do it. Some people have found that an LED light is really hard to light up, that you need sometimes five or more fruit connected in this chain to make it work. Others found you can use just a regular non-LED light, or what I had most success was, was a clock. My son had a kit, and this one is found on Amazon for about $5. And lemons are po more powerful to where they can light up a clock where I could not get the LED light to light up. The LEDs can be found also at Amazon for a big and expensive pack coming in a lot of colors. So that is the first science experiment. And the second is called Let It Rain, again talking about the rainforest in South America. You're gonna give the kids a glass of water not all the way full, and some shaving cream. Warm, warm the kids, especially those boys, the shaving cream goes in the cup and nowhere else. You want a thin layer on top. The thicker the layer, the longer it's going to take for the experiment to work and it might not make it during class time. Give them some food coloring. It doesn't have to be blue. Their rain can be any color they want. And they're going to see how many drops it's going to take until it reaches down through the layer of shaving cream into the water. This one's been sitting for just a few minutes and has already turned. But those are day one science experiments.